Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Ray Song. We are back with Pokemon Shield. Uh, we left off in the Slumbering Weald. Um, so I guess we'll just, oh, apparently not avoid Pokemon. Okay. So, hopefully I don't run into too many Pokemon because it's kind of annoying. And you know what, they're really not giving me any experience, so I'm just gonna run from them. Is that a shiny grubby? Grubbin? No. It's not shiny, so I don't know why it was glowing. Okay. Well, Okay, you get watts for it. Run away. We found Hop. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. They really are here. The sword and shield Pokemon. I knew it. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonia. You must have seen that, right? Those, those sword and shield Pokemon? They were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure haven't lost... You sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug up some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon called Zem Zemats? Zemazenta? I don't know. Also, sorry for the noise, Mikey is playing with spring. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering weald sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Cha, Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. 
Maybe the sword and shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Away we go. Would you take a look at that, Ray Song? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely definitely feels like the stuff of legend. See that, Ray Song? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. <clears throat> we got the rusted shield. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Now we have to run back. Because you can't transport from... Oh, might as well get the Pokeball. Mm, that's a trick. Sorry, folks, I had something in my eye. Okay. Let's get out of here. Finally there. So now we're going to go back to Hammerlock. Let's 
go ahead and heal. think we have enough like potions and stuff but let me just go through uh, I'm just gonna buy some more I mean we have enough money why not There we go, 50 of each. I think that'll be good. Do a quick save. Well, if it isn't Raesung and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match and then something like this happens, has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future? It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon and we've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion? To save everyone in the Galar region? Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with her fiercest rival, all teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Here we go. Jim Challenger, you must help me. Uh, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Rion, I mean Mr. Rion, was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant will, would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the challenger's younger brother, too, but who knows what's going on. All right, in we go. What, what is all this? We need to help Lee. And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the darkest day? Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We already brought about the darkest day, or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon, Eternius. Eternatus. Must I explain myself? 
From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Galar region with, un with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been given the wishing stars to return us. Surely you remember that the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock. That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Blizzard. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? Let's see if Iron Tail does better. Oh, yes, much. Stop missing. Lots of level ups. Just want to make sure we don't lose Olaf, because that would suck. Okay. 
Let's try spot. Oh, guess not. Hmm, let's try Dottie. And just to remind everyone, once I'm done the main storyline, I am considering the Nuzlocke to be over. Yes, after this Nuzlocke, I'm thinking I probably won't bother with another one. I think this will take him out. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You guys. So, clearly we're going to lose this battle. more Pokemon to f that can fight. We scurry back to the Pokemon Center, protecting our exhausted Pokemon from any further harm. what we're working with. Let's 
so we only have four Pokemon. So for the sake of story completion and the fact that I've hated this Nuzlocke the entire time, I'm just using whoever I want now. <laughs> Nuzlocke is over. Um, There. This is our new team. This is what we're going to go with. So, the Nuzlocke, we are considering a complete and utter failure. But, I mean, I did go through 99% of the game with the Nuzlocke. Um, at the expense of not really enjoying it as much, because turns out I don't like Nuzlockes. I don't like having to give away my Pokemon. It's not fun. Or not give them away, but like release them. I thought there was a way we could skip the cutscene, but I guess not. I'm just, I'm not even reading it all over again. We've already gone through this. Oh, and now he's sending out Berserker.
It makes me feel better that I can just revive Frost. That makes me feel better. Let's try flame. Just going to use a revive on Frost. This fight is going much better. much better. Oh, oh, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. And I don't believe he actually died of access. Oh, he does. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. For some reason I thought that he didn't Dynamax, but I don't know. No, flame. Hmm. Let's use Cliff Key for a moment. Revive poor flame. And I think we're going to bring frost in. Alright then, hopefully this move will turn things around for me. I'm 
I mean, the good news is, is that's the last Dynamax one that he can have. Um, so now I can bring Flame in and finish him off. There we go. So we beat Chairman Rose. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Most impressive, Raysong. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the champion, by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two, and I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awaken to Turnus, but... Oh... Sorry, I've got a cat in my way. Ah, no, stop stepping on keyboards. Um, <laughs> we awakened to turn us, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured a turn us by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. And that is it for this episode. Um, sorry, this one's a little long. But uh, we will continue the story uh, next episode. Don't forget, I post my videos every single day. Like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. TTFN.